Good evening, and it's almost 9 o'clock here um, from Whitebeard's Kitchen. Um, what I'm going to do is a uh, prawn chili garlic curry. So, without further ado, let's get cooking. I want to make this quick because I'm absolutely starved. So, folks, what I have in here is about um, three tablespoonfuls of coconut oil. Um, just have that heating up. And this meal is for one this evening because um, certain. Definitely the people in the ho at home won't eat this because it will be a bit spicy. And the first thing I'm going to do is put in my onions. It's about three quarters of a large onion uh, that I've chopped here as finely as possible, not overly fine. Um, but I mean, you can see hopefully it's going in. So I want to get the onions kind of um, a golden brown colour. I want to put this now to um, kind of a medium, medium to high heat. And I'm doing this in a pan. A very deep large frying pan just for a change rather than my trusty um, silver pots that I do because it's just for me so don't want to, to burn this at all the onion so we'll just keep stirring it um, I'll leave it and come back to it from time to time it'll probably take about um, eight to ten minutes to do so I'll be back shortly okay folks so what I'm just going to do is in here I'm going to add in roughly about a teaspoon and a half of salt and I kind of got that um, pronounced wrongly. So um, it's um, chili garlic uh, prawn curry. Not, the, not what I'd said at the beginning. Excuse me, but I am rather hungry. Um, and it is, I say, very late on a Sunday evening. So. Okay, folks, so um, I didn't have time to make um, tomato puree. I was going to use fresh tomatoes and, and blend it down, but I had to do a little run out of the house. Um, so what I'm just going to use is, um, I'm just going to use half a can. Um, that's roughly about 200 grams of um, chopped tomatoes. I'm going to add in um, one tablespoon of tomato puree, tomato paste, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to make it very um, Northern Irish this evening in my terminology. Just give that a stir around. The onions turn just a nice golden brown colour. Going to turn this up <coughs> to a high heat. And we'll give it a stir. I'll be back in about five minutes once the tartness has uh, come out of the tomato. Oh, and in my haste, what I should have done at the very beginning, and I could have done it with the onions, um, sorry, was a cat piece of cassia bark. Um, I have um, three green cardinals going in um, and two bay leaves. Sorry, I should have put those in before I put the tomatoes in along with the onion on this occasion. But hey ho, when you're in a bit of a rush, and to the left of me, um, I have a bolognese for the rest of the folks here and um, spaghetti bolognese so I'm trying to keep my eye on two things um, and in a bit of a rush so apologies for that but anyway the bay leaves and the cardamom pods and the cinnamon's in now um, I'm still letting the tomatoes go on um, a, a medium, I brought it up to now a medium heat medium to medium high rather than on high okay so back again um, what I'm going to do First of all, um, again, I could, add, I could have added this in just previously to, uh, along with the onion and the cardamom pods and piece of cinnamon stick and the bay leaves, um, and I, but I didn't purposely, is I'm just putting in here, um, that's about one and a half um, teaspoons of ginger, and I've just got that uh, roughly chopped, and also um, two tablespoonfuls um, of garlic, again finely chopped. So I'm just going to um, <coughs> take the rawns out of the, uh, the garlic um, and uh, ginger and just give that a stir around for maybe uh, two to three minutes. Right folks, so what I've done is I have added um, three cashmere chilies, or um, the, the dried version, um, to this. Um, you can probably just see them, push them over. Um, and, and what I'm doing is I just want to give these a bit of a stir um, round just to release some of the flavour out of them. Um, <clears throat> I didn't take seeds out of them because this is kind of like a, a spicy, spicy dish. I'm sorry my arm getting in the road. Um, I'm keeping an eye on the um, spaghetti bolognese sauce and meat that I have in another pot. I'm just hoping I don't mix the spoons up. Up the now I haven't done, thank God. Okay. So that's that stirred around and I've just added um, probably about a quarter of a cup of water. So now I'm going to add the spices in um, and what I have here is I have um, a, a tablespoon of uh, my madras powder 
I have um, one and a half heat teaspoons of um, extra hot chilli powder. I have two teaspoons of Kashmiri chilli powder. I have a tablespoon and a quarter of coriander. Um, and I have um, a teaspoon um, of um, cumin powder uh, and a quarter uh, to half, probably half teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder. So we'll just mix that all together. Um, and um, I'm going to add that in now. I'm going to turn the heat um, to a low. Um, just something I'm learning um, myself, what do you call it times? You know, you do want to um, release the flavour of the spices, and if they've been sitting about, maybe they could be slightly damp. But just to bring the flavour out of the spices, um, I just want to kind of give this uh, a mix for a few minutes. Um, but bring it down to a low because I don't want the spices to burn. Um, and this oven certainly, or I should say hob of mine, is a gas hob, it, can't, it is pretty high. So, excuse me while I move on to something else, just to give it a stir. Nothing to do with my curry, I hasten to add. So, um, and already I can smell um, those spices um, just coming out. So another minute or two, uh, just stirring this, uh, and what I'll do is I'll add some water. So I'm just going to add in, um, probably I'm going to eyeball this, about half a cup of water. Okay. I'm going to bring this up to a medium high again. What I'm now going to do is, um, I have six garlic cloves. Um, they were quite large, so I've just cut them in half. Um, I'm just putting those in. Well, some of them I've cut in half, one or two I haven't. So there we are, more garlic, as I say, it is a chilli um, and garlic uh, prawn curry. And to add a bit more spice even, I have, that's one, two, three, and this is a rather large green chilli going in. So almost five, but four green chilies going in. Seeds are in, didn't take those out either. I mean, by all means, um, you know, reduce the number of chilies that you're putting into this to suit your own taste. Um, I'm not one of these people for um, making spice for the, the hack of it. It is a spicy dish. Um, you want to taste the garlic also. I'm just going to add some more water. So I'm going to say another half a cup. Put this on the high. I will start from time to time, I don't want anything sticking to the bottom of the pan like the onion. Um, and I'm going to put a lid on it. Okay, so there we are. Okay folks, I just thought I'd let you have a wee look. So this is about, um, probably about uh, 8 to 10 minutes. So it is beginning to thicken up a wee bit and really, um, I can see some of the oil on the top, uh, releasing from the spices. So. This is more or less cooked, but I want the um, garlic that I put in to soften, soften down a little bit more. Um, I don't want things to stick. So I'm going to add another uh, small splash of water. There we are, I'm going to say probably about quarter, maybe quarter of a cup. I have this again going um, still at high. Um, and while I've been away, I just have been stirring it. So I'm going to let it cook. Um, again, put the lid on. Um, let it go for another um, 68 minutes and see how it is. Um, and the prawns are uh, uncooked prawns, so it will probably take them, um, when I put them in, um, probably take about, I'm going to say, about maybe six minutes, seven minutes just to cook, and I'll put those down. Uh, I'll reduce the, reduce the heat. Okay, so I um, have been stirring this. It's become a little bit thick. The garlic certainly has softened. So what I'm going to do, it's add in another splash of water because um, I just like a wee bit of a sauce um, or gravy. Um, make it to the consistency that you like. Um, so I'm going to add in here roughly about a teaspoon, um, which I've just crumbled, of kasuri mate or fenugreek leaves. And as I've said before, you can use fenugreek seeds, but make sure they go on at the beginning. Um, they are stronger. If you were going to use fenugreek seeds, then I would say maybe quarter to um, half a teaspoon um, compared to the kasuri mati or uh, 
fenugreek leaves. So, yeah, add another tiny splash of water. I'm just going to check my rice before I decide to put my prawns in or not, as the case may be. There we are. I can also say that's my rice done. Put the lid on it and let it steam. Turn the heat off. Let it steam for about 10 minutes. So, now for the prawns. So I'm just using raw king prawn. And you're probably going, why this person's a greedy person with the amount that he's putting in? Well, I'm not going to throw um, about six pack into a bag and hang on to them. So there we are. That's my prawns in. I'm now going to turn this down to a, a low because uh, the curry is, or sorry, medium low um, for about three, two to three minutes and then turn it down to low. I'm going to put the lid back on and that's me. I'll be back in about three to four minutes. Okay, folks, this is my chilli and garlic king prawn curry ready. It is, it is spicy. Now to get this out onto a plate, and as I've always said, my presentation is not great. For me, it's about the flavour, and I really am hungry, and it is quite late. Well, here we are. This is it on the plate, folks. Um, I am going certainly to get stuck into this, and uh, I'll let you know when I take a bite what it's actually like. So, now for the moment of truth. Um, I did taste a wee bit earlier. It, it is rather spicy, but as I say, tone this down for yourself. Um, I'll mention that in the description anyhow. So, here it goes. Absolutely delightful. I can taste the prawns, I can taste the garlic. Yes, there is a lot of chilli coming through. As I say, it's chilli and garlic prawn. Do try this and do tone it down if you wish. Um, my, it is rather hot. It's bordering on for me probably near Bindaloo rather than kind of a Madras taste. And remember it isn't a Madras as we know it. Those are just ways to describe kind of the flavour. What I'm going to say is have a good evening, wherever you are in the world, rock on, see you soon, and bye for now.